hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and uh, today we are going to uh, show you the next video tutorial of a vehicle rental management system and in this video just i'm going to uh, uh, discuss about the orders so you know that order service is actually uh, hold the index section method so here we have the constructed dependency injection mm, using we have the i order header service okay so in the index section method we have a list of orders so by using admin role you can just get all the orders as well as if you are the customer account then you can just uh, uh, then you can uh, visible your only uh, that customer accounts orders okay so first of all get the claims identity by using the claims identity user dot identity you get the uh, uh, user identity and after that we have the claims identity dot find first method just get the user id by using the value of your name identifier okay so uh, where user id equals to claim dot value okay so everything is fine now just go for the next section if user id is not equals to null then you can say that uh, your current uh, orders or you can say that your all orders that is related to a particular uh, customer so the customer is mandatory to authorize or you can say that authenticated okay so just check that all these orders by using the order header and the order header is uh, that is order service just get all the orders that is related to a particular user okay so just mentioned it as a service in the order header service Okay, so here we have a order header service like that and this, that is just I want to get all the orders like I never the type of order which is related to your particular user ID. So here we have uh, public I enumerable type of order header that is get all orders and uh, which is related to your user ID that is currently logged in. So just copy that and paste it here and you just use where cause because just I want to get all the orders so use where and just I want to use x dot x dot id application user id is double equals to user id so by using this you just get all the orders okay which is related to a particular user and the next one is mandatory to get uh, that is the status that is completed order that is uh, pending order that is approved order and etc so you just you can see all these Okay, so here we have the order header equals to order header service dot get all orders by user ID that is user ID and switch here we have order status and by using order status just we get all the orders in the form of pending approved in process shipped and all. So here we have approved order that is pending order and approved order. And that next one is the uh, in process order and the last one is shipped i meant to say that completed order but uh, you know that order status that is in process that is most probably and the pending approved and the shipped i mean to say that that is uh, actually a rental process is uh, in the form of shipped okay and return is also available for uh, the car rental system so in the latest video session just i want to add a new stack uh, new flag variable right here that is returned okay so wait for some times just i want to uh, be available for your orders okay so here we have a uh, just i want to add a view for your index just i'm going to add a scaffolding process right here 
so i want to add a list of your orders in the form of the table so here i'm going to use order header as a model that is the strongly typed binding but you can use loosely uh, binding between the controller and the view you can make a view model So wait for some times until your scaffolding is completed. Now you can see that scaffolding is in, uh, is in uh, under process. So after completing, you will see your uh, actually uh, view for related to your order header. So here we have a uh, header service and just I'm going to add anchor tag in the first of all just uh, when I see your order header service so here we have a, a uh, that is anchor tag and ESP action that is index ESP route ID that is related to your route information and that is the status flag so here we have a order order status that is related to your order ASP route ID So here we have a ASP route ID that is order status. This I want to add pending uh, that is pending uh, that is the payment is pending that is payment is completed and a rental process that is uh, related to your rental system. So this time I'm going to add bootstrap buttons classes right here. So just use BTN, BTN primary and you will see your uh, uh, bootstrap classes on your final uh, class library so just open bootstrap and you will get the exact class name that is secondary information etc and warning also there
Similarly, all classes and the names are given to the route status that is pending, in process, shipped, etc. But in later video, just I'm going to uh, make some changes in this route, this, that is the dummy and data and just I want to show all these data according to your status. Okay, or according to your order status as well as uh, according to your payment status. Just I want to add another that is the return that is uh, confirmation by the uh, admin only. So just I'm going to add another features right here. Okay, wait for some times. Just I will complete it. Then you will see that is the actual rental process. Okay. So here I'm going to add the new process just uh, after that, just I'm going to watch the output. So if you want to purchase this project, then you will, you will make uh, join the channel first. And after joining your channel, you will get the project called on the, on your mail ID. So just uh, mail me one tarun at the rate of outlet.com. Okay. That is a simple process to get your project or source code. So here we have the simple process and you can use the uh, Amit as a username and just uh, give it to the password in the text box and just you can make a login system and uh, user is logged in completed. Now another one that is just I'm going to add that is okay. So here we have orders and just I'm going to add index, but area name is not specified. Just I'm uh, put it the area name that is admin and you will see that your order is given right there and buttons look like beautiful. So thank you guys for all these watching my uh, channel's video and subscribe me and you will get the notifications after completing this project. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and related topics and the projects. Thank you very much for watching.